Washington. It's worked out for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Postmaster General, you're a popular guy. I asked for a call from you as well and was denied that request. Um, but let me say thank you for being here and for answering questions. And I want to um, um, thank you for, in your testimony, mentioning the men and women of the Postal Service. Um, and you say, we owe them our best efforts and a solid plan to address the problems of the past and to chart a course. Your testimony also uh, attaches a second year report, Delivering for America, and on page 11 of that it says, and I'm quoting, the well-being of our 635,000 employees is at the heart of Delivering for America. We are investing in both our employees and the facilities they work in. I can't agree more. I'm a huge fan of the post office and the men and the women who provide service and who go in day in and day out to deliver mail. Um, uh, Mr. DeJoy, do you ever visit post offices? Yes or no? Frequently. Frequently. Have you ever visited any of the USPS International Service Centers? I have. Have you by any chance ever visited one in Carson, California? No, but I'm aware of it. Actually, I did visit Carson before it was, in, uh, before it was uh, uh, an international center. And I'm okay. Um, do you believe that employees should have to work in a facility that is below 30 degrees? Nope. And do you believe that employees should have to work in a facility that is close to 100 degrees? Nope. Um, I, I have to agree with you. I don't think these are suitable working conditions. In OSHA, even though they don't have a specific number, they have a temperature range, and it is far well away from those. Let me tell you about working conditions in that facility. It happens to be in my congressional district. I wrote you a letter about this, which I asked for a phone call about. Um, I will say your staff, somebody did respond back. Um, now, these are working conditions that employees of the U.S. Postal Service International Service Center in Carson, California have been faced with. From December of 2022 through March of 2023, the employees were working in this facility that registered temperatures as low as 28 degrees when it was cold, and the building there was intended to be a warehouse, not really a processing center. It does not have any kind of HVAC system, or the elect and the electrical capacity there is not sufficient to run enough heaters uh, to regulate the temperatures in the building. I myself went to visit it and joined the, the workers, the men and the women, who were out protesting against these unacceptable, unsuitable conditions. And so now that you've been made aware of this, what are you committed to try to do to fix this? So, Congresswoman, um, we have plenty of facilities like that around the country that have work, that have conditions that need uh, to be addressed, and we're out addressing them. Are uh, you saying you have a lot of f facilities where we workers have, are working in un There are different safe types of conditions. Conditions? There are different types of conditions that don't make workplace activities, uh, 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 you know, produce the, the result we both want in terms of productivity and the employee experience. And that's a big part of of what the, uh, uh, what the Delivering for America plan is about. Uh, and we, uh, in that particular facility, it was part of a process where we leased it for a short term, we're getting out of the building, we're gonna close that building down and consolidate it into our uh, Los Angeles uh, uh, facility. But we have what we have, and when conditions happen, and we have people working there and mail flowing, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're not, always able to respond to these types of conditions the way we would, would like to. Well, that, is the, that is the Joy, aggregation, I, that's the accumulation of 15 years worth of neglect that I can't fix Mr. in two DeJoy, years. first of all, it's not really 15 years of neglect. It and is. I'll tell you why, because this was a five-year lease, so it hasn't been 15 years, and when they entered the lease, they should have said, hey, there needs to be safe working conditions here. And you basically have just said, hey, there's unsafe working conditions, and that is what it is. That should not be the response of our country to the men and the women who need to deliver and who do deliver for America. The response really should be, and I was hoping your response is gonna be, I'm gonna see how quickly we can get the workers out of these unsafe conditions because nobody should be that's working very, in degrees um, that's, that's 30 unfair. degrees. That's in fact what I've been doing. That's very unfair accusation. 
No, you just said it. That it is what it is. I was explaining the status of the, the condition of the organization uh, when, when I arrived here and what we've been trying to do over the last two years. And we recognize we have facility issues, and we recognize that that, that, that is a facility issue, and we're going to be moving. it. But it is a big place with a lot of people and no money, right? And we're, and we're trying to fix it. Well, I hope that you will look at it more closely to get a quicker resolution. Thank you. With that, I yield back. Joe, yields back her time.